Good morning, YouTube. Just woke up just a little while ago. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is just going to be a vlog. I'm starting out here in Bloomington, Illinois at the TA. And let's see how far we get. What's that wrong? I mean, I got plenty of time. I don't have to be in Dallas until... Uh... Monday morning at uh, 9.30 in the morning, so and we only got 786 miles to go, so I got plenty of time. Ah. Let's get the truck started. Got to put in my damn alarm code. <laughs> Gotta stop here at exit 82 in DeVernon, Illinois to get fuel. I have noticed that fuel prices are going down a little bit each day. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we're gonna let the truck warm up for a little bit. situated get my drink out of the refrigerator here I'm not a coffee drinker so don't need no coffee turn on the CD Shout out. So I get some more light. Now I have mini headsets, okay? I got the Blue Tiger Elite. It's okay. Tiger Elite. Now I got the Blue Parrot 450 XT. It's good. And I got the Blue, uh, the Blue Parrot 550 XT. It's okay. It, it, it all three of these act up with my iPhone for some reason. I don't know why. They just do. But my main headset that I, I have now is this Clear Drive 220. And let me tell you, this is the most comfortable, clearest sounding, last the longest headset that I got in my inventory, okay? Now the 220 is the one that has, you disconnect that and then you can put the other earpiece and then where it has two headphones, you know, listen to music, but I don't use it for that. But what makes it so comfortable is it's got this really thick, I don't know if y'all can see it, it's got this really thick pad for when you're wearing your headset. So when you're wearing a headset, it is just comfortable. And what makes it more comfortable is that this covers your whole ear. Your ear is inside. And it's just, it's just so comfortable. Anyway, I recommend it. If you, get, if you need to get a headset, or you're having problems with your headset, get a uh, Rand McNally Clear Drive 220. Yeah, they're expensive, they're 249, but hey, I like it. So, we don't, we don't want to 
shut down. Now, for you new drivers, I'm gonna tell you some things that are very important before you even start your day. One, run a light test. If you have a Peterbilt. I don't know about the Freightliners. I'm sure they do have a light test. I don't know. I don't like Freightliners. But if you run a light test, if any light on your truck or your trailer is bad, it'll tell you on the screen. It even tests the trailer if you're hooked up to a trailer. So I just ran a light test, everything is fine. Next very important thing that you need to do before you even start putting the truck in motion is do a tug test. There has been a lot of freaking idiot driver who thinks it's funny to go pull your fifth wheel and when you pull out or when you hit the brakes for the first time or just whatever you'll disconnect from your trailer and it'll drop to the ground and then it's a pain in the butt if you're loaded to crank that landing gear back up so always do a tug test before you even pull out. Which is what I'm doing now. My trailer's connected. So let's charge it up. Go over here to the Qualcomm. And let's start the GPS. Now I run multiple GPSs, okay? I got my Ryan McNally 750 right here. It's a new one. I love it. It works great. And then I use the Navigo on the Qualcomm. It's kind of like having a second opinion. You can't really do any features on the Qualcomm going down the road like searching for a truck stop or a rest area or a place to park or any like anything like that, which is what I use my Rand McNally for. Get going. Got a maneuver through the STA truck stop. Get out of here. That's the question.
There we go. Good thing about this TA here in Bloomington, Illinois, if you was to break down and you drive a Peterbilt or a Ken or a KW, there's a Peterbilt dealership right next door. Yes, I drive at night. I'm a nighttime driver. I, uh, it's usually I start about midnight or whatever, but I slept in a little bit. It's currently uh, 2:54 a.m. Central Time. to the right. reasons why I drive at night. There's very little traffic. You can make better time driving at night. Uh, my girlfriend, she's nine hours ahead of me right now, so it's daytime for her. I just like it. I used to not like it, but now I like it. I've been driving at night for about a year and a half now. We got about 79 miles to my uh, fuel stop. Thirty-five degrees outside. Yay! The route we're taking today is. Uh, 55 down to St. Louis, get on the loop, 255, 270, get on 44, take 44 to 69 South, head on into Texas, but I don't know how far we're going to get today, play that by ear.
Hey, I'm almost there. Come on, people. Just a tip, do not turn there, fellow prime drivers. That's Mayfair, that's a no-no. Last time I was here at Prime, I was parked right in front of the gate. That security has to come and open when some dummy goes down Mayfair.
go to the wash bay and get this truck washed. There's my uh, one of my best friend's truck right there with a flag on it. He's got a blue box on it just like me. got it after over two years that I became a million miler here at Prime I finally got my jacket my black leather jacket it is nice too I like this jacket anyways that's gonna end my vlog if you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe. It don't cost you anything. It helps me out, please. And hit that notification bell button. So you get notified every time I do uh, put out a video. And I'll see you in the next video.